everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be discussing about the third problem of today's biweekly contest shifting letters to the problem states that you are given a string s and you have to apply some queries on this string the queries look like start i comma end i comma direction i now direction i could have only two values either 0 or 1 and if direction i is 1 you will move every character from start i to end i one letter forward similarly if direction i is 0 you will move every character from start i to end i one letter backward so after applying all these operations you have to return the final string s so let's say the string given string s is a b c and the first operation is 0 1 0 so here direction i is 0 right because direction i is 0 you will apply operation backwards so which all characters you will apply the operation everything which is between 0 and 1 so you will apply the operation on this a and b and you will apply one character backwards so this a would become z because before a there is nothing so we will turn around and a would become z and this b would become a because before b there is a so the final string would be z a c similarly if you apply the operations one like these all operations the final string that you will get is a c e and that's what you need to return now how to solve this so the problem is very straightforward you will like what you like the very brute force solution could be you just uh, iterate over everything from start to end and just apply the operation so what would be the time complexity of that like let's say our operation is apply um, like move one character backward in this range so you will just uh, go over these characters and then apply the operations one by one so this a would become z b would become a and so on and so forth now what will be the worst case of a single query uh, the worst case could be start is 0 and end is n minus 1 right this is the worst case so in worst case you will be applying or going over the entire string for a single query so let's say the total q number of queries and in a single query in the worst case we are iterating over the entire string of length n so total time complexity would be order q into n if you do it naively now this would not pass because q and n both are 5 into 10 to the power 4 so this would surely not pass now we need to do better now this q we can't avoid right so we need to avoid this n somehow so if we want to avoid this n somehow we need to avoid iterating over the string from start to end altogether like we have to find out some way where we don't need to iterate over the string from start to end so what we can do instead of uh, iterating over the string we can like observe that these operations or these queries are uh, like if you can accumulate all the queries and apply them at once for example let's say there's a query that move one backward uh, for for this range so this z would a would become z b would become a right and similarly let's say there's one more query which says that move one forward in this range so this z would become now a this uh, a would become b again this c would become d and this e would become f right so what happens actually you you are calculating the offset so when you say backward you will just add minus 1 in this particular index and when you say forward you will just add plus 1 to this index finally you will sum them all up like whatever uh, you have like done so far you will sum them all up and finally what will be the offset is the one that you will be applying your operation on so finally we will see that the, this comes out to be 0 in this means that this a needs to be shift 0 times so let's calculate the offset of this c c there is only one operation which says forward so this offset of this c would be plus 1 like we are just moving 1 forward so this c would have offset of plus 1 which means that you need to move c 1 forward so that's how you will just encounter d so in a way what you need to do is you need to just find a way to add one in every element from l to r and subtract one from every element from l to r so this is a very standard uh, 
like question which can be done using prefix sum so as we have discussed multiple times in our channel that whenever we see l to r we should always think of at least a prefix sum kind of approach wherein we do everything from 1 to r or 1 to like r to n and then just use the values to calculate the the values from l to r so let's take an example you need to add everything from l to r to plus 1 or minus 1 right so let's say this is l and this is r so let's say you need to add plus 1 in ev in uh, everything from l to r so what you want is you want your array to look something like this right so instead of doing this let's say if we if we do plus 1 at position 3 and minus 1 at position 7 and like whatever is empty let's assume that those are zero like it is zero it is zero and so on so now let's take a prefix sum of this array so what will be the prefix sum like this will zero this will zero this will zero and this will one right why one because uh, if you sum this part you will get one right so this will be one now this will again be one this will again be one this will again be one and this will be zero right because if you sum this entire piece this one and this one is the only integers other than zero so they, they will cancel each other and this will become zero and finally this is also zero and this is also zero so compare these two array they are exactly similar right so in a way instead of going through every element right instead of going through every element what you can do you can just add the offset at the first position subtract the offset at the last plus one position and then when you do prefix sum you will get exactly the same configuration that you have that you are that you wanted right so why is this happening like what why this is uh, happening in this particular situation because what you have said is you are adding one and in, you are saying that this one will be contributed to every element starting from here so this one will be contributed to everything starting from three now you are subtracting one so in a way what you are saying this this minus one would be contributed to everything starting from here so you have added plus one to everything and you have subtracted minus one from this particular piece so in a way this particular piece whatever was there you have added one one time and you have subtracted one one time so this piece would be get cancelled and your operation like whatever you want to apply starting from three would only be applied in this particular area and that's what you have wanted right so hope this point makes sense like this is a very standard question i just wanted to explain the intuition if someone doesn't know about it now once you understand this particular concept in a way you can apply your operation you can apply plus one or minus one in any of in any sub like sub array of l to r and finally you take the prefix sum let's say you uh, you do this for all the queries like say that uh, the first query was three to six plus one let's say second query was uh, four to nine uh, minus one so in a way we will do minus one here and plus one because minus of minus one is plus one so plus one at index 10 so now once you have done this for all the queries you will just take the prefix sum so this prefix sum will tell you what is the actual offset for each of the indexes and you will apply that offset to your initial uh, given string so let's just look at the code the code is very simple we are we have what our motive is to find this offsets so what we are doing we are just finding on the direction and if direction is one we are adding plus one to the first index the l position and if direction is uh, zero like not one which is zero we are subtracting one from this first position because what we are like what we wanted is we want to add or subtract one everything starting from this like this this particular position l now because we want to do it up till r so we will apply the reverse operation from r plus one because that would apply everything in this particular range so that's what we are doing we are applying the operation on r plus one 
and we are applying the reverse operation previously we have done plus one and now we are doing minus and this part is exactly same so we are just applying the reverse operation in r plus one now once this is done we just want to calculate the prefix sum so either you can do the prefix sum of this offset array but what i've done like instead of calculating the prefix sum of this offset array i just maintain a prefix value because i don't need the entire array i just need the offset at each of the indexes so for every index i am finding out the actual prefix sum which is captured in this value and uh, let's talk about this in a moment but after we have we have this uh, prefix what we are doing we are this is the initial this is the initial value and we are adding the offset and then modulus by 26 because if you remember we need to revert back like if let's say uh, there is z and you say that you have an offset of plus 2 so after that you can't do plus 2 so what you will do you will do plus 2 but uh, starting from a right so the answer would be b so how you will get b you can just uh, uh, do modulus of 26 right so that's what we have done and finally we are just uh, appending this to our new answer or the new string now there is one more thing here which you need to take care because offset can be negative as well so you need to make them positive because at the end of the day what you are doing is you let's say z z was there and you have a or maybe let's say the the value like the character was a and you have an offset of minus 5 so now if you subtract minus 5 a is actually 0 right so if you subtract minus 5 from here you will not get anything so instead what you want is minus 5 modulus of 26 right so that would that would actually be minus 5 plus 26 modulus of 26 right so that's where we are like we will get 21 and that's the final offset like if you count 21 starting from a that would be the final value so this like this minus one actually rounds down to z and we count from here so that's what we are doing we round we round down to z which is 26 so we did, we added 26 and then we just subtracted minus 5 from here so for this we are doing like because there can be the offset can be greater than 26 as well because number of operations are more than 26 so offset can be greater than 26 that's where this while loop instead of if loop uh, instead of a if block so hope the entire solution makes sense if you have any doubts feel free to post them in the comment section below if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already thank you